Hello everyone, ebomb113 here with another custom creation. This is my Mars Research Outpost. So I got a bunch of uh, of the uh, Mars Rover sets on pretty good sale on Amazon. So I think it took about three, three of the Mars Rover sets to make this. So I'll give you an overarching view here. So there's the top of the base. It's pretty big, pretty beefy. Um, got a few side builds. Um, I'll probably go through those first. So I'll go over here, we got like a little, small little communications tower. Um, it was just kind of made out of scraps I had left um, from the main build. And I think it turned out pretty good. Nice little sci-fi, I guess, communications tower. Some, uh, some way to, you know, contact other units or um, I'm assuming like a spaceship up above. But nice, simple, nice and easy. Oh, that's a little crooked. That fixed. So, nothing too fancy on that one. And over here, I have um, just uh, one of the regular figures. And then I made some um, different utility vehicles uh, based off you know, the original design. The original one. But essentially, the, same, the concept is um, this one locks down. There's a struts on either side. Claw comes up. It's able to grab the, uh, the container right there off of that and then put it on the ground. So, nice simple little concept. Like I said, had some extra parts. Didn't know what quite to do with them, so I just left them there. Now on to the main part of the build. So you got the front here. It does have sliding doors. You got like a little... Um, in between area so it can decomp or a decompression chamber so astronauts can walk in um, door will close decompresses and they can walk inside to the main unit um, so there's like a little door control here some light showing whether the door is operating or not so take a view of the outside there's some air tanks to recompress the, uh, the chamber you got some um, solar panels you got a main communication dish and spin 360 degrees around over the side you got some tools um, got some windows nothing too exciting over on this side that's where the main air unit is so um, you know obviously they can get oxygen so neat little builds this side just have a ladder extra um, tank um, I haven't quite decided what maybe it's a for extra air or different gases while they're doing research you know, in the lab. Got a ladder that leads up top so you can get up and you know view across the horizon or make your way over to the satellite dish. Whatever you got to do up top. Uh, fix anything. There's a little sneak peek inside and we're back to the front. Nice and easy. So I'll show you the inside. So the decompression chamber does open up. Let me get it. So all the tops do come apart. That's just for support across the top. But um, it's pretty easy to put a figure in there. And all the tops come off on the sides. The center. I'll show you all the inside. So I made it pretty, pretty accessible. Whoop, as long as I don't break it. Put that back. Here's a little look at the inside. So you can see there's some screens and they're testing some samples right there. Um, that is able to flip up. So you can put in a new tube. Um, I think they have, yeah, they have more tubes along in there. Might try to fill up more of that as time goes along. But um, just try to keep with what parts I had. There's the um, storage room where they keep all their helmets. Um, they can resupply their oxygen packs. Um, there's some crates in there. Then over on this side, there's the communication part. So that's where they communicate with the dish. That would be up top right here. Connects into my computer so they can stay in contact. I was really originally going to put some like bunks in, but I couldn't quite get it to work out. Um, there's a little table there just for, I guess, anything they really need. I'll flip it around here. There's the front. So, it's the other side of the decompression chamber. So the door slides up, slides down, 
they enter, come back in. I was going to put another um, little like data pad there just to represent the door controls. That pretty much does it. Um, I'm pretty proud of this build. Like I said, it took three of the Mars rover sets, and so I just decided to name it the Mars uh, Research Outpost, just to kind of match with the MRO2. Um, but yeah, put a few of uh, the rovers around it, and you probably have a nice little Mars scene. Um, I really, absolutely love this um, this idea of the pro builders, where it's like, you know, it could be across any time or century or um, culture, but it doesn't seem like Mega has been too interested in continuing that. At least I haven't seen any new plans for uh, more pro builder sets. So, so I try to nab them when I can, when they're on clearance and make stuff like this, just to kind of expand on, you know, their original concepts. So I think that pretty much does it for the review. You can see all the roof pieces laying around right there. I think that pretty much does it. Thank you all for watching.